Welcome to another painting tutorial from War Vision Gaming. I'm your host for this video, Kevin, aka Simple Cheese. Well, today we're gonna paint uh, Plague Bearer of Nurgle. Over here, you can see a model that I have already finished, and that's the result we're gonna work for in this tutorial. I didn't like the greenish uh, plague bearers that you see everywhere because my entire Nurgle army is green, greenish. I wanted a different color, so I used a little bit of a light yellowish death and pale color. So the color list is in the description, so you can check it out. I assembled the model and I've undercoated it corrects white so let's begin the colors you want to use are lahmian medium and seraphine sepia well we're gonna water the wash down with some medium i've done it over here when i drag this on the side you can see the ratio it's very light and with this color we're gonna wash the entire skin of the model. A nice smooth first layer of paint. You can see that I'm not using that much paint. I'm just using a base brush for this. Don't rush it with your wash. Don't apply it too thick. we can always do a second coat this guy has a yellow eye <laughs> because the former owner has only painted the eye yellow but it's okay Over here, it's a little bit too much. So suck it up with your brush and apply it elsewhere. Just a little check if I didn't miss any spots or places. Now we let that dry. And I leave it like this to dry. Because now the wash will dry in the recesses and will not pull to the bottom. 
and with the first uh, wash completely dry we're gonna thin down Carabao Crimson with Lamy and Minium quite a bit I've done it over here you can see that uh, that is thinned down quite a lot and with a small layer brush we're gonna shade uh, some sores and the skin around the sores just like this you, show, you see that the wash isn't that strong but it's leaving a little bit of reddish glow behind and that's what we're aiming for I'm also washing the back spine the spinal cord really nice easy so you can see over here that it has a little bit of reddish tone over here you can see the pustules gently hitting them pustules you can see over here now the wash is pulling so I suck it up and bring it back on wipe it off and let that dry Maybe we need to do two or three coats of this, but it's okay. starting to pull over here watch the mouth It will give it a little bit of reddish color to it so we let that dry this will be your outcome it's hard to see because it's really dulled down now you see it even better but it's the first layer so and with that watered down caribou crimson completely dried 
We're gonna do the same trick with Druggy Violet, thin down with Lami Lamian Medium. Very thin, I've already done it here. So you can see it, just a little bit. Really, really thin down. And then I want to accentuate the beaten up flesh areas even more. The spinal cord. In between those pustules. The edges you want to avoid, you want to edges to avoid because the edges you want to be that carabao crimson uh, wash Over here at the, the, the wound, and I'm dragging the paint towards towards the giant gash in his belly. So the skin around his mm, belly it's a little bit of purplish. You can see it over here. It's very subtle. It's a little bit bruised. So you can see over here, the pustules, the spinal cord, the ripped open, uh, spots in his back. And you want to drag the uh, watered down wash towards the edges. So the skin around the openings are looking bruised, as I mentioned before. Let it dry once again and we come back with another trick. So this will be your outcome. And you can see over here the belly, skin. It's looking quite bruised. And with that wash dry, you want to use Palette Witch Flesh and Seraphine Sepia. I haven't seen this technique used by anyone on YouTube, but I do it. Grab some Palette Witch Flesh. Do it in your palette. And then you're gonna color it with wash because that's the skin tone and I want to layer the skin tone back up and I found the easiest way to do uh, 
to replicate that wash color is by using the, the an off white and the wash again and what you want to do is with the back side of your brush you grab a little bit of wash you tap the bulb and now you're gonna mix it up now you will see that the pellet which flash is a little bit of darker and the wash thins the paint down I think it might be a little bit darker maybe that's too much but And now you can see over here that uh, the color is a little bit of yellowish color. And now you're grabbing your miniature and you want to do a little bit of test sampling. So you don't want to paint a large surface but paint the heels. For example. a little bit too bright so we add some wash and you can see it over here I've layered the heel over here and you can see how nice the color blends in with uh, with the yellowish uh, skin tone so I will add some wash to my mixture to make it a little bit darker I can't tell you the exact ratio of two drops or you have to figure it out yourself mix it up try it again add some paint try it again and so on and so on and so on This is the right color. It's a little bit thin now because of the wash, but with a little bit of control, we can make it work. It's too strong. Over here, a little bit on the on his butt cheeks. You want to paint raised edges of the spinal cord. Just hit it. Hit it with a little bit of paint. You won't be needing much. Just to add some contrast. Now as you see the spine, it's a little bit of pops, pops.
over here. This is nice shot. You can see I layered this area back up. I've layered the spinal cord back up. You see there's a little bit of more contrast on the spinal cord. You won't be needing much of this color. Hit the pustules with the color just to make them stand out more. Hit the bone parts that are sticking out of his body. You can see it now already here. The washes blend in very nicely. And it took a minimum of a minimum effort to layer this piece up. That's in the middle of the tear. Just with the tip of your brush, so and if you're thinking from oh that part I did too much, you can also doil it back down with a watered down wash of Carambo Crimson. Druki Violet. At the belly, I don't need that much of patching up because the washes dried and you can see the, the skin around the belly is very very nice but you won't what you need to patch up is the edges of the wash you can see over here that there's a little edge of the wash and you can feather it out with this mixture of paint Just paint the edges, and when the when this paints dry, the transition between the wash and this paint will be perfect. Over here you can see that this area has too much wash on it, so what you want to do is very gently paint it in. So You can already see that it looks way better. So we let this dry, so you can see it already here, the paint is drying, 
and it's leaving a little bit of yellowish tone to it and you can see the wash over here it's very dull down and it is flowing nicely into the colors over here it's a little bit of uh, strong but the color over here is still wet and when it dries it dries like this and then it blends the colors in perfectly so and with the skin color is drying I'm gonna show you how to paint this bluish eye glow first you have to paint the eyeball uh, Everland sunset yellow and then what you want to do water a glaze of Gulliman blue with Lamia medium down to a very very thin rate over here you can see it it's barely even well, it's a super thin down glaze you want a little bit of that paint on your brush you want to paint it in the eye around the eye too just like that this You barely even, even see it, but it's okay because it's the first layer and we can do it as many times as we please. So we we'll let that let this dry and when it's dry we come back again with the same technique until you've got something like that. Something like this, I mean. And you can see over here that the colors have very nicely have blend in and so I've done it now three times you can see it's coming together real nice so I've made a mixture of the skin color again and now I've used the same colors palette witch flesh and the wash seraphin sepia and now I've made the, the mixture a little bit lighter and with that mixture you want to paint the spinal cord just give the raised edges a little touch with the edge of your brush so and with that lighter color so you want to paint the pustules what you also can do is paint the raised edges of the the skin the ripped open skin
want to paint the mouth this, this lip upper part of his lip and with that blue glaze you see the effect now a little bit of dry lips I guess you'd be needing a labello the edges of his open ripped body just a little bit you won't have to do it all the way You can apply it. What you want to do now? Add a little bit of water in, at your br in your brush, and then you feather this out. Just feather it out. stroking the fresh applied paint so, you, so the paint is now blending okay and now I'm gonna use some dried bark to paint the pole I've watered down my paint be careful around his hand When you think you're done, you gotta check if you didn't miss any spots. I miss a spot around the hand. We continue the epicness with corn red. I've thinned the paint a little bit down just for some epicness. What we're gonna do is in the banner paint the outer ridges of the skulls you won't have to be that neat but you want as little as red paint on the skulls as possible
so this will be your outcome so now we're gonna paint the dead heads severed heads on his totem pile as we call it in Dutch the paint I'm gonna use is dead flesh from Vallejo uh, if you only have citadel paints you can use Ogrin camo of Nurgling green you can see the difference over here but if you're painting much dead flesh or zombies or zombie side I recommend painting of buying uh, this uh, paint and watch the how to paint pox walker uh, video because it's really nice effect on zombie side models or plague wa plague pox walkers plague whatever everything's that that is dead and need to be painted in a gross color scheme You want a nice smooth layer. You don't want to clock up any detail. And with that complete, the bell and the outer rims of this flagpole painting painting it with Balthasar gold. And if you watched my other tutorials, I want to say thanks. Really appreciate it. You got a lot of thumbs up. A lot of comments really nice people that are commenting on my videos really appreciate it and again I mentioned it before if you're following my tutorials and you have pictures of the end result please ask us for our email send the pictures towards us towards us so we can incorporate the pictures in our next videos because war fishing gaming is not about us it's about it's about you guys also If you have tips, tricks on what to improve, let us know so we can work on it. And with the pole almost base coated, we're gonna grab some lead belt here. We're gonna base the plague sword or plague knife. I don't know. Anyway, it's evil blade. Be 
careful around the hands because we did an awesome paint job we don't want to ruin that camera for a little bit of mo with more with this control. banner pole thing drying I'm gonna use Chira's purple to paint the gum the mouth gum of that beast that is inside of him off camera because it's very tricky to do I will show you the end result and this will be your end result and we let it dry also now we're gonna layer it up and now we're gonna make the skulls patch up the skulls maybe you hit it with some red patch it up with white scar and you will be fine and then we're gonna apply some washes. First the shade Druki Violet. And then with that shade, we wanna shade the mouthpiece, the gum of the mouth, the flesh. You don't have to water the wash down. You can apply it straight out of the pot. don't want to wash the entire head but wash patches so over here other part of the hats that aren't washed look at over here and as we mentioned before we're gonna use the open patches we're gonna use Dragonhoff Nightshade to wash the open patches of the dead skulls it a little bit down
Now we're gonna use the Agrax Earthshade. But down to wash the sword, the gold, the skull bits, and the pole. Don't forget to paint the under this under spiky thingy metal. So, and with the wash drying, we're gonna layer up the mouth gum with Jean Steeler Purple. So this will be your outcome, let it a little bit dry, now you can see over here the bluish glowish effect, very nice. And to finish it all off, the next layer we're gonna use Emperor Children, just to give the flesh a little bit of a highlight. Thank you. 
So, this is the finished result. Now we're gonna paint the tooths. That step we're gonna do with Zanduri dust. You can also paint the horn Zanduri dust and give the teeth. A little bit of a highlight. So now we're gonna use Carabao Crimson, and with that Carabao Crimson, we want the wash in the tooth, beneath, between the tooth. So, and now you want to let that dry again, dry again. Now we're gonna do something very pro. You see the cracks in his lips? So. And in meanwhile, we are waiting for the washes to dry. We're gonna paint the base black. And in the meantime, we're gonna uh, highlight or. And in the meantime, we're gonna highlight or bring some effects on the staff, the pole, the wooden pole. And for the color we use is Doom Ball Brown. And what you're gonna do is. Grab a piece of toilet paper. This is an old brush, and I clip down the bristles so that you've got a nice stibbler. I call it the stibbler. You load up your brush and you wipe the excess off. You leave a little bit of the Doom Ball Brown on your brush and then what you want to do is just poke the pole so this is the effect do that all over and this will be your outcome don't overdo it just an effect with some record flesh gonna give the tooths a little highlight Don't paint the teeth all the way. Finishing it off with a little bit of palette witch flesh. Mm -hmm. 
just the edges of the tooth. So now with all the washes dry, I'm gonna grab that flash again, squirt a little bit of that paint on a piece of toilet paper, grab a dry brush, wipe off excess, and then dry brushing the hats Look at that color. That is that flash. Looks pretty deadly to me. And now we're going to paint the stitches black. Now I'm going to shade these skulls with Raglan flesh shade. And at the same time we're going to add some effects, blood for the blood god. And please don't overdo this. I see some tutorials and people just smacking it in there and it doesn't look right. So use a small bit to fill in. Zoom in. to fill in the open areas at the skin and you want to drag a little bit of a trail just like over here so just a little trail that's all Over here in his arm, just a little bit on the edge of the skin. It's enough, don't overdo it again. Over here, just a little bit on the Drag some streaks. And now we are going to add some extra color to the gold and with that 
we're gonna use Retributor armor. So I'm grabbing my crazy stibbler, stibbling brush again. of it and then I'm just Just a little bit. Just hit the edges and from a tabletop view you can see over here and then to doil the gold a little bit down you're gonna use a sepia wash back blend them in Don't forget to wash the horn with Agrax Earthshade, just a little bit, as you can see over here, it won't be needing much. Well, the only thing we are, the only thing we need to do is to make the sword a little bit of rusty. For that we're gonna use Doom Ball Brown. Grab your stippling brush again. Wipe off the excess. And just Hitting the blade. And 
and we're gonna finish it off with some effects paint rust just a little bit it's a little GW has the same uh, rust effect just released I don't know the name of it but I use some you can also use orange that doesn't matter and with the wash still drying we're now gonna paint the base I'm gonna use the fang just the first color be really carefully be careful not to hit the legs so celestra gray again a dry brush a little bit of a lighter drying brush then you dry brushed the the base color the fang, the first color. And as last, a very small dry brush of Ulthian Grey. Just hitting the outer edges of the base. Just a little bit. That's all. And to finish the base off, I got some crazy looking tufts. They're black, they're from mini, mini nature. And I really like the small tufts. You can see that it's, it's a little bit of black. Really nice color. step before we complete this plague barrel of Nurgle I'm gonna use red card flash I'm gonna dry brush the skulls a little bit of toilet paper add some paint on your brush wipe the most part off dry brush the skulls and we are done so this is the end result hope you guys like it thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe and all the bull crap and I see you again with another painting tutorial from more vision gaming.